Hello YouTube, Metal Trooper 62 here, and this is an update on my AR build. I know it's been forever and away in a day uh, since I posted a video. I pretty got all, pretty much got all my stuff uh, to go, but um, I have that polymer 80 80 percent lower that I was going to use for my lower. But I was having a problem finding a XY vise to mill it out. And I've, I've got one, but I couldn't find it in my storage unit. So I was just going to buy one of the ones at Harbor Freight, and they're never in stock. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to buy a lower and uh, get this thing built. So... That's what this is. That's the Anderson, Anderson lower, just like uh, same uh, same company as my uh, upper receiver is. But I had got the multi caliber because once I get my polymer eighty lower milled out and ready to go, I'm probably gonna put that one on my. This current AR build, and I'm probably going to use this receiver for a 300 blackout. At least that's kind of the uh, the plan. And I don't know why my camera just decided to go unfocused. But anyway, I had uh, I had bought this last Friday, and so, here in Illinois, we have a 24-hour wait period on long guns and a three-day wait period on pistols. So, I had to wait three days before I could pick this up because you could make this into a pistol. I know, just stupid dumb shit. But, uh, anyway, I went up there Monday, which was yesterday, to pick this up, and... I got ready to leave and everything. Well, the guy told me that they didn't call it in. So, you know, I waited the three days and I couldn't take it home. So they tried calling uh, to get the confirmation that I could take this home. And I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited for about an hour. So I was like, screw it. I'm going to go home. Uh, which... I was fairly aggravated about, you know, not being able to pick this up when I was supposed to. So, I told him, I said, you know, I'll call you Tuesday morning and see if it's good to go and everything. Well, they called me about 10 o'clock in the morning, said, hey, your receiver's good to go. I'm like, freaking awesome. So, I went up there uh, later in the day and picked it up, and they said that, the guy that called it in said that uh, it it came back no response, and he was assuming that um, he didn't have to call it back in again, that it would be automatically, you know, it was like on a waiting thing to be okay or any, anything, which wasn't the case. So about 20 minutes after I left yesterday, the guy said, yeah, I got the the okay on it and everything, which I wasn't going to drive back up there and everything. I just went up there today. But they were very apologetic and everything like this. So, for, you know, for the hassle of it and me having to wait, uh, he threw in two boxes of this. This PMC Bronze 223. And there's an $8.75 price tag on these. I've never shot this round, but it's full metal jacket boat tail. It's brass case, uh, Boxer Prime reloadable, which is awesome because I plan on reloading the 223 and 556. So that was pretty, pretty freaking sweet of them. And, uh, but Saturday, I went up the day after I had bought this, I went up there and I put. Uh, I put a firearm on layaway, which I'll do a video on that whenever I get it. But, uh, but yeah, so hopefully here real soon, 
I'll be having some videos of me putting this together, which there's a million videos on out there on this, and I kind of have a hard time uh, doing these videos since I do it on my phone, and, you know, I need both hands to, to do this stuff on this, so we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll figure something out. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on that. I didn't forget about my AR-15 build. I just was waiting on... I didn't want to, I wanted to do that polymer 80 lower right. I didn't want to take a chance on screwing it up. And then plus also I, I'd, I'd get deals on ammo. So I'd buy ammo or I'd buy this or I'd buy that. I kind of have a bad habit of not sticking to one project. That's why I've got three AK kits going and the AR-15. So I need to focus on one project at a time. But anyway, I guess that's about it. Oh, um, this this receiver was, I'm not going to show this. This has got all my information. But the receiver was $51.94. Uh, insurance and tax, ins insurance slash tax was $461. And then there was a $2 charge for them to call, uh, you know, to call this in. And in Illinois, we got FOID cards, which, you know, more dumb stuff. But uh, that was a $2 charge for that. So fifty-eight fifty-five is what I ended up paying for this lower. And then plus I got two free boxes of ammo. Okay, well, that's it. Video's gone on long enough. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe only if you want to. Until next time, y'all have a good one. Bye.